Hello. So, today I wanted to um, take a look at my setup. Trash can, I have my little foamy pad, I have my desk, which currently is not empty. It's going to be empty, and I'm slowly going to fill. This is my start. Or I should say restart? Yeah, we'll go with that. So, everything that I'm currently working on for projects, I'm going to get around to my tools. So here I have my kit with, this is added, but this kit came with all of the stuff that's in here. Nail files, clippers, tweezers, um, the exacto. I just put a sharpie in there because it's one more tool. Uh, my little cutting board, you can get these bigger or smaller. You just need something to protect your desk. Because uh, right there, if you can see, that was an exacto blade. So I use this now. <clears throat> so I move this over here. Uh, if I could invest any, tell you to invest anything early on when you're dealing with brushes, a wet palette is really nice. Uh, so you could store your paints. Um, you could put water in here and seal it up and as you can see this the paint is still um, uh, well fine the paint is still good and this has been sitting for days and that goes over here so I do have a wet palette uh, if I had to recommend anything from Citadel I love their pot because it's got for deep bristle cleaning and for light bristle cleaning and to, to, uh, to just, I'll have to go through this or you can find videos about this thing. I really like this because it's even got a way to hold your brush that you're currently using. So yeah, uh, this little thing came with this um, and we'll get into all this. So this is where I place things. Um, it's just me being fancy this is a uh, a bar drink um, rubber mat so that when um, I putting my water cup up there or I've got something that's been freshly painted uh, or that's that's just where I stick things um, I I don't mind dirtying things that look pretty I have a lot of these like uh, things from Japan and I find it gives me flair so what if it gets dirty I wash it I use it I make it my own um, and it, it, it builds its own character or else why why should I keep all these little things uh, these are my little favorite knickknacks that sit over me and my little Bob Ross positive energy some some other things up here this is my batteries for my my um, the thing we're doing this the, the camera yeah uh, the remote because I do have light sources we'll get into that uh, I found this uh, I picked it up it's brush cleaner I highly advise finding ways for you to brush uh, brush or clean or clean your brushes these see I like so much about a second these are my one day I will start using I'm not going to use them now uh, I picked them up and I also picked up something else I'm not going to use it until I get more comfortable with brushes and I go down this journey with you guys. I keep um, toothpicks and Q-tips, rubber bands and paper clips. And this is a cut up uh, uh, magic eraser. And these are um, uh, cosmetic uh, sponges these are all on hand because it they're just useful you never know if you need to sh uh, shave something or level something so there's just little knickknacks that i've picked up um, times when you need to clip something or hold it to something you start to develop these things so what i plan to do is take you on a journey i will slowly buy new uh paints and introduce paints and we could do the paint theories and all sorts of things as I'm building things. Um, distilled water, uh, I highly recommend you pick a water source and stick to it, just so you're comfortable. If it's your tap water, keep using your tap water. Uh, 
being a chef, I can tell you the value of making sure your water is is the same. Um, if you went into the science of the pizza and 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 the dough and the rising, the the type of compounds in water will greatly help or hinder your experience with your dough. Um, so shout out to New York and their water supply and uh, their pizza being good because that's kind of their secret. I'm sure you could go find somebody out there else who's talked about this. I, I think uh, with a food theory did it as well. Um, it It's more of a common knowledge among chefs and I can't see why you wouldn't take that into painting considering <clears throat> your water is your median which helps you move the paint around and if you have a high mineral table in your water it might be more of some of the cause of to why certain paints work better for you so again the, my setup I stick with distilled water uh, it's bottled by clover it's distilled water uh, reverse osmosis water find something that works for you just kind of stick with it it's the same thing you would do in the fitness realm too. find something that works and then tweak it so that's what I'm gonna do with you guys I'm going to start with basics and I'm going to tweak them in front of you so that the learning process is very organic for you, the viewer, and for me, too, because I'm trying to learn how to paint. So what is the kind of paints that I have? Well, I have these. Uh, they're kind of left over. I have a bunch of these things from uh, uh, when I used to do community service uh, uh painting classes I hosted them I didn't do them I never joined in I just had some leftover stuff from those events these guys I bought uh, at a local store this came with this it was a whole big package um, and these two I bought this is uh, flash gets of uh, layer paint for yellow because I'm an orc player and evil scarlet layer for red so that I can make things go faster and be uh, stronger uh, more powerful uh, I had I needed uh, greener skin so I picked up green um, to try it and I picked up some metallics I have true copper and bright uh, from the army paints back when I was doing D&D &D, which I still do I picked up a paint set to try to paint one of the models um, the shambling mound um, and, and I did an okay job of it and this is everything that's left and this is where I'm beginning those are the paints I have to work with um, it's no Bob Ross special <laughs> I had thought about buying those and I figured you know what I'm just going to show you what I have, what I'm working with, and when I get new paint, we can go through how it feels together. Um, I'm just going to be using, again, these little cheap brushes, and, and speaking of which, this is a, a cosmetic brush, because uh, I heard you could use it for dry brushing, so I picked one up. Uh, I haven't learned dry brushing or anything yet. This is a silicone thing why is the silicone thing you see this pops out uh, the paint doesn't stick to it uh, it's I think I had mentioned about this I might not have but uh, paint doesn't stick to it so I, I, I borrowed my uh, or, or ran off with my daughter's little uh, thingy uh, and um, um, that's what I've been using uh, I got styrofoam cups uh, for, this is just so I can keep my drink uh, box cutters and you probably see my lights so these two lights I took them from the living room um, I got a nice little one this was my reading light it's now my painting light and this guy over here kind of the same thing because the biggest thing you want is to try to get some natural light 
um, or whatever you can uh, in the way of, of, of things. I'm probably blinding the crap out of everyone. Hey, light. So, this is my setup. There are many like it. This one is mine. The desktop um, to discard from it. I got this from I Ikea. You can just get any board, really, and place it on top of your desk. And the goal is to get your elbows to be more online. I can see with my posture. There we go. So, uh, I don't have a camera thing set up, but you want your posture to be, um, but, uh, <laughs> I can get the camera to stay. Thank you. I'm working on camera things. I ordered a second camera like my friend suggested. Um, so you want your, 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 your eye level and your, your painting, whatever you're painting, to be right here. You don't want to be like hunched over. You don't want to be like this either. Get something that's natural so that your elbow adjust your, your, your chair. Get the, the, bring this up I find that uh, that's why I have a pillow underneath here something that gets me so that I can lift my knees up uh, and put like a little foot rest on it pressure on it and then I keep my maintained spine so that I'm technically exercising because I'm keeping spinal alignment while I'm painting and this means that I can probably look into some nice little uh, um, elbow rest or some sort to try to alleviate some of the stress this is what you're looking to try to uh, mimic is getting your body in a position where it will be uh, conducive of your uh, experience and as we go down this journey I might from time to time drop health nuggets if you must know where that nuggets are coming from we're talking about 26 years of food, fitness, and nutrition experience and certifications. Military trained. I My job in the military was hospitality. I had to care for the troops. So that means I had to find ways to feed them or to give them exercise regiments that wouldn't tear their bodies down so that they could maintain uh, top shape. This comes at an expense of, of a lot of, of hard knock learning and, and field trials and getting to a point that actually worked. And I'll be glad to disperse nuggets of, of health information um, as we go through this progress. Uh, I still, to this day, read and analyze experts' theories and opinions on food, fitness, and nutrition. It will never get out of my body. That, and I have so much retained knowledge that I can see different pieces of a puzzle that other uh, nutrition experts as a whole don't see. Uh, prime examples of, I, I could be here all day I could give you plenty of prime examples uh, and I want to save that for other days when I have more clarity of thought so that I am not just rambling and this turns into me on a soapbox right now you just, Take what I say as the fact that I have lived a life to be able to sift the, 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 the gems from all the shit that can be out there. Um, and I will give a good example of that. There is no such thing as a superfood. It is a marketing message in order to sell more product and you can tell me that there's a superfood and try to it, it's marketing trends 
when you know enough about what's actually going on with food, you realize they're all super. And if everybody's super, so there you go. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this bullshit of, um, for lack of a better word, uh, of, of getting to know me behind the scenes. Uh, I have, and I, I will stop promoting, uh, like my Patreon and stuff like that once I'm able to actually maintain this product and I did want to disclose what I plan to do with any Patreon money. I uh, sit in a very wonderful position in my life where I have retired and I have enough to pay the bills. This is going to be a, a hobby of love and a labor of love that I plan to fully support all the Patreon money back into the hobby that I am doing. So anytime I get Patreon money, it's going to doing more. So all of it literally is going to be play money. It's one way to look at it. Um, it, it's this is fun for me I would love nothing more than to be supported by my peers to go out and enjoy hobbies I am starting in the 40k because it seems the most daunting um I have played a wealth of board games and role play games. I'm a forever DM. So I felt that this, in my retirement, this would be a good direction. And let's see where this takes me. And back up, there's Loki. And with that, come here. You can't escape me. Loki, say hello. No, no, you're like, no, I must, I must, I must, I must cat. I have five cats. I love them all. They have wonderful personalities. They're my little fur babies. So, thank you all. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, so something I forgot to talk about. As you can see, these little acrylic things, these are nail acrylic holders. These are claw grips, they literally push into the wall. And I'm getting more. I just finished the setup and these are my little shelves they're nothing for price and they can hold a lot of paints so I plan to uh, I bought a few of these things and I also bought a few other little um, hobby toys that I will premiere or I guess you could say or I'm going to test out and we'll see where we go I think one is arriving today and I'll probably do a follow-up to this video if it arrives of me playing with that toy so yeah we'll see if I can get two videos done today Loki are you done making a mess He's just like, uh, Dad, you ain't known to be doing any painting. I'm just going to clean myself in front of you. Yeah.